multiplying measurements. When we multiply measurements, we're going to multiply each unit separately, regroup the smaller units to larger ones if it's necessary, and then combine the results. What do I mean, multiply each unit separately? Well, if you multiply four weeks and three days times six, we're going to multiply the days and come up with our answer, then multiply the weeks, come up with our answer, then we're going to regroup the days to see how many weeks we could get out of them and then add them to the weeks, okay? So it's important if in your math book, if you have a conversion chart for measurements, to know that a foot equals 12 inches or a yard is 3 feet or 1 pound is 16 ounces. It's important to have this by your side so that you can convert these and regroup them as necessary. So let's take a look at 4 pounds 10 ounces times 3. We're going to multiply the 3 by the 0 and get 0. We're going to multiply 3 times 1 and get 3. And we always put our labels, so that's 30 ounces. Now we're going to multiply the 3 times the 4 pounds. 3 times 4 is 12. Now, according to our chart, it says 1 pound is 16 ounces. So we can't leave it this way. We need to get it correct. So how many ounces can we take out of here to add to the pounds? Well, 16 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 would be 32 ounces. We don't have 32 ounces. So we know we can get 1 pound out of this. So let's take the 16 ounces for that 1 pound away from here. 6 from 0 you can't do, so we have to borrow. That becomes a 2. That becomes a 10. 10 take away 6 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get 14 ounces. And now that 16 ounces, that 1 pound, has to be added to this. So 12 pounds plus 1 pound is 13 pounds. So our answer is 13 pounds, 14 ounces. Now, if we had four weeks and three days multiplied by six, we're going to multiply the days. Six times three is 18 days. Six times four is 24 weeks. How many weeks can we get out of this to put it over here so that it's regrouped correctly? Well, we know that there's seven days in one week. So we know we can take more than one seven out of here. 7 times 2 is 14, so that's 2 weeks. Let's take the 14 from the 18, and we get 4 days. And then those 2 weeks get added to the weeks over here. So our answer is 26 weeks and 4 days. So whenever you multiply measurements, make sure that you do the conversion at the end to make sure they're grouped correctly. If you're doing ounces, you can't have more than 15 ounces on the ounce side because 16 would then make it a pound. And if you're doing weeks and days, you can't have seven days or more on this side because it would become another week. Keep your conversion chart close to you, use it, and regroup your answers. That's how to multiply measurements.